Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. Today I have a couple of fun projects for you. I've created an SVG file to make this I Love My Bug. Um, everything's included except for the Cricut head, which is in the Cricut library, and I will show you how to get that, and I'll provide you the download to the rest of the file. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create new project. You're going to download the SVG that I've provided in the right below in the video description. So first thing we're going to do is go get that. We're going to go to Upload Images. It's an SVG file, so we will upload vector. We're going to Browse. And wherever you saved the SVG file, you'll need to go get it. Most people would probably put it on their desktop, but you can put it wherever you want. And it is this one right here for me. Hit upload. And you can name it if you want. I'm going to put love my bug so that I can find it again. And hit save. The image is going to be the first one down here in the project bin. So let's put a check on it and insert image. Okay, the other thing we need is the Cricut head, and that is part of the Cricut library. So we will go to Insert Images. And we're going to search Cricut. C-R-I-C-U-T. And there are several Cricut heads available in the Cricut library, just depending which one you have. I'm going to use this first one, which is from the Cricut cartridge called Storefront, and it's part of the subscription. and insert image. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do with the Cricut bug is mirror him. So I'm going to go over to the edit panel and I'm going to flip him over. The next thing I'm going to do is ungroup him. He comes in with a shadow layer and we don't need that. So while the Cricut is selected, I'm going to hit ungroup and then I'm going to select the eye next to the grayed out shadow layer and turn that on. And then I'm just going to hit delete. The next thing I'm going to do is resize the cricket to fit inside my heart. And I'm trying to make his antenna kind of match up with the curve of the heart. And that looks great. Next, we're going to click on the love SVG file and we're going to ungroup it. We're going to turn off the SVG by Lori Nunemaker. Next, we're going to select the love. We're going to hit arrange, move to back. And now we have the love and the cricket showing. We're going to select both of those. Make sure we just have two layers selected. We do, and we'll hit slice. And now we can pull that bug out of there and hit delete. We don't need him anymore. Okay, for the apron that I made, I use the set canvas and I brought up the apron and I'm going to zoom down a little bit so we can see and here is my image I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to move it on the apron and see how I like it for size sizing and I left it just like that I left the love my bug going up the side like that one other thing that I did because I was going to cut this all in white is I went to color sync and I just changed everything to the same color. So I moved the black up to the green. So now when you hit go, everything is going to cut out in green just like we've got it set up. So that's how to set it up for the apron. For the shirt, I set canvas. I went to classic t-shirts. I went over to my canvas panel and I changed this to women's short sleeve, even though I did a long sleeve, and I changed it to a large just to give me an idea of the size. And I put this part right here and you can size it accordingly. And when you iron this on, you iron it on so the top of the heart is about four inches from the bottom of the neckline. That's the correct placement. 
And for the love my bug, I put that on the back of my shirt. So we're going to rotate that just to get an idea for our sizing. And you can make that as big, oops, you can make that as big or as small as you want. Okay, and then before I send this to the mat for the shirt, I'm going to rotate it back the way it was, just because it takes up less space on the vinyl and it'll keep it all on one mat. So that's how I set it up for the shirt. So let's go to the Cricut, set up our machine on iron on vinyl. You're going to put the iron on vinyl shiny side down on your mat. There's a mat side and a shiny side. The shiny side goes down against the mat you're going to hit go and this is very important mirror image for iron on you want to check that box it's going to flip it over so let's cut our vinyl okay I'm going to use the uh, Cricut iron on vinyl don't forget when you buy the vinyl there is a coupon inside this wrapper that is on here that you can use in the digital store and when you open the vinyl, you'll see there's a shiny side, which is the side that's facing out on the roll. And then there's a more matte side. You're going to put it shiny side down on your mat. We're going to load it in our mat, or in our Cricut. I'm going to turn the dial to iron on. We're going to hit go. Okay, we're going to unload the mat. And we're going to trim our design out as closely to the edge as possible. Once we have it trimmed out, we want to weed the design and that is pulling away the negative space. You're going to leave the part that you want to iron on on the transfer sheet. So using the Cricut Pick tool, pull back the part of the vinyl that you want to remove and just slowly work your way around the design and weed out the pieces that you want to keep. Now that we have our design weeded, we're going to start by ironing the apron or the t-shirt, whichever one you're doing. You want to iron it first. I do have my iron preheated and it's on the highest setting. It's very hot. We're going to lay our design down, face down. And then I just use an old pillowcase, but just a thin cloth to lay over the top of it to iron once you have it in position. And I just keep this cloth for this purpose. And you want to apply pressure. And I usually count to about 10 or 15 slowly and move it around. Make sure you cover the complete design.
Keep moving around your project, applying pressure. Once you've covered the entire design, you're going to remove the cloth and then slowly peel back the transfer paper. And that's it! Mm -hmm.